Hi everybody, I'm Nikki Bizant from Healthy Food Guide and welcome to Healthy Food Guru. This is where we look at new products that have come through and give you the verdict on what we think of them. So first up today is something for the gluten-free people and it is Bakeworks. They've done a couple of new breads. Uh, it's a Turkish peed or pide, however you want to say that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and then some torpedo rolls, so that's sort of a soft bread roll. Now these will be appealing to people who are gluten free because um, there's not a lot of this kind of bread around and they do have a very nice soft texture that's very much like a regular bread. Uh, they're particularly nice toasted too in a sandwich press. Uh, the, the Turkish bread makes a really nice sort of a toasted sandwich. Uh, and so that's a really nice kind of option if you're looking for something that's a little bit um, different from the ordinary bread. They are good in terms of uh, sodium, no issues there, and the fat and saturated fat is all fine on them as well. The fibre is not listed on the nutrition on these, which is a bit of a shame, but um, that said, it's, it's white rice flour that they're based on, so you wouldn't expect them to be particularly high in fibre anyway. So think of these as a kind of a, you know, a weekend, bread or something that you might have occasionally um, as, a, as a change from your regular everyday bread rather than an everyday bread but everyday we would still say go with something nice and grainy uh, but these are a really good option and worth it if you are gluten free and looking for a bit of a change. We are always keen to see things which are lower in sodium and to see manufacturers working on their products to make them lower in sodium and so we were quite excited to see this product or these products. This is Watties. They've done pick of the crop, their beans and lentils and also these are chickpeas as well in spring water. Now these kinds of things are always usually in brine which is salty water and that means that they can often be quite high or sometimes be quite high in sodium and you know you have to rinse them to get rid of that salty flavour that they have. So these being in spring water um, just takes that away which is really really nice and clearly would lower the sodium as well. Uh, they do still have some salt in them, but the sodium is still really low. Uh, the lentils have got, let's see, 115 milligrams of sodium per 100 grams, so that's really, really hardly anything. So this is a really, really good thing to watch out for, and a good option for your cooking. Canned beans and lentils are something that we encourage people to include a lot in their diet. If you don't have time to, to cook your own from scratch, a can of chickpeas or lentils or beans is a great thing to include in a lot of different meals. So good pantry standby, definitely choose these ones if you can when you're shopping for this kind of stuff in the supermarket. Um, and again they just have a, they don't have that kind of salty flavour that you tend to get with the briny ones. So watch out for these, they really look, we really like them. Now it's time for a bit of a gadget. This is the Brita Fill and Go and it's a water bottle, it's a quite a nice looking water bottle. It's made from uh, BPA free plastic which is really good and you can pop it in the dishwasher also really good. Uh, the way this works is that there is a little filter that goes that sits in, in the lid here uh, and you change the filter every week. It's a charcoal filter and they come in a little packet like that with, with the bottle. You get four and then you can buy the filters separately. Uh, most of us could do to drink a little bit more water and this is an easy and a, and a nice portable way of doing it. It's a bit more attractive sitting on your desk than an old refilled water bottle that you've bought. Uh, you do, this costs $24 and then the filters um, you have to buy separately I think is about $8 for eight, uh, which is not too bad if you think about the cost of buying bottled water. Uh, and it's also, you know, a lot more environmentally friendly than, than buying those plastic bottles all the time. So we think this is a is a good option if it encourages you to drink more water. Some of our team didn't like the top the way that you um, you pretty much have to suck the water up through this rather than tipping it. Uh, that's just something I found that I got used to and I don't mind at all. So watch out for these. I th they're available uh, in farmers and I think possibly some other retail outlets as well. Uh, it's definitely something to think about if you are looking to drink more water. Finally today I've got lemon fresh, 100% squeezed lime juice and lemon juice. These are just a pouch which has got lemon juice or lime juice and vitamin C in it and that is it. It's not made from concentrate, it's just 
pure juice from Northland uh, limes and lemons, kirikiri in fact. And that is a really, really, really handy ingredient to have, particularly the lime juice I have found because certain times of the year limes get really, really expensive and I like to make a lot of Thai flavoured dishes and uh, it kills me when limes are you know, 30 or $40 a kilo. So this packet costs $4.50-ish uh, and it contains the juice of, I think, 10 limes? 10 limes. So, you know, it's super useful. It's got a lovely real lime flavour. It just tastes like fresh lime juice um, and it's fantastic for dressings and popping a little bit into your water. Put it into your water bottle and, you know, it's a great ingredient to have on hand. Once it's open, you just keep it in the fridge and it, it lasts for quite a while. So, one to watch for. I really like it.